Hello everybody, it's time for another Portal Mini Mod Adventure. This time we are playing Aperture Shutdown made by Pedestria. Requested a whole bunch of times and highly rated on the workshop as we Hello. appear to be... Oh, and hiya. Again, welcome to the Aperture oh, Science Jesus, that's bright. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties ah, yeah, the lights are. of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. Uh-huh. The portal will open and oh, portal. emergency ah, testing portal, will begin gotcha. in three, two, one. Let's see. Oh, and GLaDOS Turning is here. Hey, GLaDOS. Into hardened Wait. Killing machines. Page 70. Uh-huh. Ah. You done? Why does GLaDOS need to physically flip the page of a book? Why would GLaDOS even... You know what? She put those sound effects in there just to, you know, demonstrate and emphasize her. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. I was just casually reading up on how fragile humans are. Anyway, this is Aperture Shutdown by Pedestria. Four parts available as is, and sadly, this one's unfinished. Yeah, we're going to get to part four, and that's where it's going to end. And that was way back in 2015, which, uh, by my calculations, extensive calculations, is six years ago. I don't think we'll be getting any more of this one. Uh, now that my eyesight has been permanently damaged by the bright lighting in here, let's, uh, let's go find the actual test, shall we? There was a door around here somewhere. Probably where these arrows indicate. This way, yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's very, very bright in this one already. Yeah, pedestrian... Oh, we're straight into an actual test. And it something tells me... Oh, hello. designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. Uh-huh. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Oh, 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 burn. That's a proper GLaDOS burn. Yeah, as I was going to say, um, I'm guessing the exit's in that direction. Good thing they made those signs so big after damaging my eyesight in there. Yeah, Pedestria made this series, and the last one is in 2015. I doubt we'll be getting any more of it, but uh, it is highly rated, and it has been recommended to me a whole bunch of times, so it's about time I played it, isn't it? I do know I'm very much behind on these. There's another auto portal thing down there, and we've got buttons. We've got buttons 1 and buttons 2. We've got cube 3 and exit 4. I feel like there's something I'm supposed to do here. But in what order? Some panels up there as well. Ah, you've got auto portals on, haven't you? One. Did you give me an auto portal? You do. Did you put another one down there? That looks like it'll fling me at free. So the numbers, numbers clearly don't matter. Let's go get that cube. You fling me at a cube. Yep. Thank you. Regular weighted storage cube. Nothing fancy just yet. Uh, almost fell off there, so that would have been embarrassing. I guess you want to go in here, yeah? Usually do. That has opened the exit for us and lifted a little panel. I still think that might be the exit. I'm just not sure. You're going to flip this round. Yeah, this one's been recommended to me a whole bunch of times, and I know I'm well behind on the recommendations. My to-do list is massive, and I do apologize for how long it takes me to get to stuff. But, you know, uh, real life kind of sucks, to be honest. So, Good. oh, hi, Please she's back. proceed to the next test appreciation exhibit. I will. Is it in here? And interact with it in such a way that it might be called solving. I will do that thing, wow. Things in the future, but we don't. Okay, immediately I love the sense of scale in this. I do love it when the mods and the creators show off just, just how big Aperture can be. Clearly not that way. Uh, there's another door there. Does it have a handle? No handle. See, I'm learning. No handle means no real door. Wait, did that have a handle? You have a handle? No, you got no handle. You're a fake door. I know that now. The big pipes. Uh, I take it you want me to go... Oh, hello, pipes. I take it you want me to go in the flashing room, but first I want to see what these pipes do. Because that is some pretty epic plumbing. Yeah, I need to see what these pipes do. I'm going to connect, and then... And then materialize gel blobs randomly amongst yourselves. That does look cool, though. And I'm pretty sure I just found my outro video clip. Thank you, Pedestria. Uh, let's head over into here, where I can actually see Pedestria's logo. You a real door, you a real door, and, uh, is this a horror mod? I'm getting horror mod vibes. Yeah, aperture with faulty lighting, this could be a horror mod, I don't actually know anything about it. I assume we're going to shut down aperture, that's a pretty safe assumption. That is a portal gun. Can I have my portal gun? Thank you. That is Pedestria's logo there. Oh, what the hell? Oh, uh, yeah, it's a horror mod, I'm, I'm pretty on? sure it's a horror mod, I don't know. You? D didn't you do it? You're in charge of this place, didn't you do it? Oh, fuck me, that actually hurt. Uh, you've opened a hole in the ceiling. 
And you've put a panel up there with a big X, that usually means put a portal on me. Yeah, in case you're wondering, and it was easy to see before the lights went off, that is Pedestria's logo, and um, I'm guessing we're going to probably see it about the place a fair bit. Uh, you want me to go up there? Well, I need another panel for that, right? So, any of these walls? You're illuminated. Ah, that's why you're illuminated. Okay, it's, uh, it looks like we're we're already going off-piste in this one. I do like off-piste maps. What is that? It appears to be incredibly low-resolution garbage. Literally. Okay, um, big bright light up in here. Got some graffiti. Ratman's obviously been about the place. This way, huh? Yeah, sure. Hey, you no. No. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. No. Just pop a portal right behind no. me there and come on through to the other side. Why does it always have to be Wheatley? Oh. All right, I can do this. I can do this. Okay. Repress feelings of rage. And breathe. Hey, uh, Wheatley, how are you doing, my old... <coughs> I can't say it. What do you want, you little bastard? I wasn't actually listening. What do you want? Portal behind you? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's use that then. Uh, you're a panel. Up behind Wheelie, there is a catwalk. Thought he was going to screw us over immediately. They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. I would imagine Shopped being the caretaker for this place. Of robots. Oh, I like this line. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. <laughs> no memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal in any meaningful way. Yeah, I hate Wheatley, that? but I do Should love really that line. He has got now. very good lines. Um, I guess Let's you're referring the to the shaking? Must be around here somewhere. Probably that way, right? Down here? You want me to follow you through the door? You're gonna go... I can make you fade in and out. Okay, you want me to go through here? Okay. So it looks like we got to put up with Wheatley again. But GLaDOS is here, so maybe this time he's a good guy. That was rude. Didn't know I had here to it wait is, for you. The turret factory entrance. We made it. What down here? This is the turret manufacturing wing. No, Just those are clearly this storage is the boxes. Old neurotoxin production facility. Oh, okay, turret. And if okay, we find you're a right. Way to take them both offline, she's going to be completely helpless. Which yeah. Is ideal. Uh huh. Heard that one before. Never Here's goes very story. well. I, like I almost got a job down here in manufacturing. But uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism. Ah, just like Ends British up politics. Me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. British Tory the, politics. The, um, sorry, that's uh, no, I would uh, say smelly. Just, uh, just attending to the humans. Yeah, I don't like you either. Just so we're right. aware, I don't well, like you either. I'm gonna take this rail down the back way. You don't have much choice. That's where your maintenance rail goes. You want me to go through there? There's a big pipe out here. Is that the gel pipe we were looking at? No, that is that is an entirely new gel pipe. Cool. Uh, I take it you want me to get on the elevator, dude. Should I trust it? Okay. Okay, 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 wait on. I should have been on that. That was my bad. I should have been on it. Yeah, um... This is a long elevator ride. Very, very, very long. There we go. Another massive space. Alright, Pedestria is pretty damn good at giving a sense of scale. This feels absolutely huge. Those are explodey things. Those are explodey things. We're gonna get a boss fight, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna have one of those boss fights. Um, okay. I guess we got that to look forward to, or maybe not. Maybe that's past part four. Yeah, you've done a really good job of making the aperture feel absolutely massive. Oh, look at that pipe. What is that? Is that the neurotoxin? Kind of looks like Mountain Dew. I've never tasted Mountain Dew, but I assume Neurotoxin and Mountain Dew have kind of the same effects. Looks disgusting in all honesty. I don't know how you people drink it. Factory this way? He did say something about going to a factory, didn't he? I tend to not pay too much attention to him these days. Still kind of getting horror mod vibes, though. What are you doing? Oh, are you making turrets? Are you making and boxing up turrets? That's nice of you. Nice little bit of detail crammed into the wall there. Um, are they functional? No, okay, never mind. I take it you want me to carry on this corridor. We're doing a lot of walking so far, but then aperture is huge and I have no idea what we're actually turret supposed redemption to be doing. Lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Turret redemption? Oh, it's one of those. Ah, 
you're going to activate when I step upon you, aren't I? And uh, hilarity will ensue. Flamey hilarity. Um, can I actually get out there? Solve. Actually solve as a tag. Huh. I've never seen that one before. At least I don't think I have. I like it. Uh, these all look very panelable. So yeah, is there one out here? There is one up there. Right, this is going to activate and like drag me along to doom, right? It usually does. Again, it's very, very bright in here. Incredibly well illuminated turret redemption line. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Didn't start. Please exit the turret redemption line. This is a sterile environment. Please sterile. refrain from riding on the turret line. Sterile. Look at all these incredibly sharp, pointy, rusty bits. This isn't sterile. I could easily get tetanus in here. Uh, this hasn't started. I, I really assume this would start. Oh well, he did say it's not a ride. Um, up the stairs then, I guess. And go this way. There's a door, but it doesn't have a handle. But I'm going to check it because I'm here. Nope. Uh, up to the stairs into... It's dark. It's getting darker. Pedestria. It's getting darker. I still feel like this is going to be a horror mod at some point. Something's going to appear. You open? You do open into... Yeah. Serious horror mod vibes. Okay. Um, and you shut immediately behind me. Of course you do. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, please be a light switch. Please be a light, please let there be... Light. And automatic doors. Watch your step, because the, the doors will hit you in the face. Caution, this sign is radioactive. There, now I have superpowers. Uh, okay, long corridor with... Um, train tracks that go nowhere. Let's pretend they don't really matter. Neurotoxin source. Now that little git did say something about turning off neurotoxin. Really? You're going to be one of those doors? Fine. Uh, you do appear to have panels behind you, though. So I take it there was panels back there? Yeah, there is. Um, maybe Shell is a little bit on the wide side, because in all honesty, I'd crawl through there myself. Even with quantum tunneling technology, I would just crawl through there. I just would. This, this seems unnecessary going back. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to reason. Yeah, those old magnetic tape drives have certainly seen some wear and tear over the years. They always break down now, don't they, in whatever... Hello. I was going to say in whatever year this is, but these doors have handles. What the fuh? Okay. Okay, we gotta stop here for a sec. We all know the laws of this game. If a door has a handle, it opens. Now I don't know what to believe. What about you? Are you fake as well? Why can't you be like your brother? This one works. This is a real door. Uh, oh, keep out. Well, keep out means immediately go this direction. Now we're going into more of the backstage kind of area. There's some more of that low resolution garbage. Lots more graffiti about the place. You know, Ratman was actually pretty talented in an abstract, non-conformist kind of way. Slightly morbid, too. Look at that one with glasses. That was someone he specifically knew and hated. That's why they're crushed in the pile there. Yeah, let's not think about those too much. Are you a real gate door? You're a real gate door. Are you a real door or is this all for nothing? Real door where there's some pistons. You're also a real gate. That's as far as we can go at the moment. These panels don't work. Am I not supposed to go in there? But it looks like a platforming section. I'm up for a platforming section. Although... They don't appear to go anywhere. I don't think we're actually supposed to go in there. This must just be an elaborate easter egg so we can come see Created by Pedestria. Fair enough. It's your mod. Make whatever you want. I'd do the same thing if I knew how to do Hammer. Oh, this bit of Ratman's art. This is one of my favourites, right? See how that's all dramatic and everything? But now I'm going to say something that will ruin it for you forever. Forks in cheese and Oreos. There. Now you'll never see anything else when you look at that bit of graffiti. Uh, let's head back to uh, where we're actually supposed to be then. I guess we are right to... We shouldn't have come in the keep out area. 
That garbage is weird, though. You think that's supposed to be a pun? Low-resolution garbage? That's not how puns work, is it? Do you think that's supposed to be a visual gag? Low-resolution garbage? Yeah, that, that, that's the proper use of words. Okay, I take it you want me to go down this corridor with even more graffiti on. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, if you drew this stuff in high school, you will get sent to the counselor at least once. You're a real door. Alright, you don't have handles, but I'm going to try you because now I don't know what to believe. Just just once I want to... You've put in the correct key code kind of interaction. No? Uh, corridor splits. We've got... What's this? i got an observation room. Did I do that? Maybe. Uh, we've got an observation room looking into an actual test chamber. I feel like we should be getting to test chambers by now. I can't get in there though, can I? Oh, can I? Let's just test something. Let's test something again. And again. And... No, we're not going in there, clearly. Alright, what about you? Eliminate the possibilities first. You're also a door of lies. Okay, I, I don't trust any of the doors in this mod. Hmm. Stay out contaminated area. In the broom closet. Really? You're not, you're not going to slot in a Stanley Parable gag? Okay, fine. We got... Another door of lies. Okay, so uh, what, we're stuck in here? I tried smashing my way out, but to no avail. Just for science. No? Okay, fine. You can take a chair with me, though. Um, what, back the way we came? Well, that's changed. Ah, that must have opened up when the whole place rumbled. We got a hole out to some panels, but, um... Yeah, you fell open when the place rumbled. I can totally buy that. Who came and ran in here and wrote on the wall? And then buggered off before I had a chance to come back. And I take it you want me to go that way because of the giant red arrow. Let's stick you over there and are you a surface? You are indeed a surface. Is there... There is somewhere to land. That's good. Into another dark, creepy as fuck space. A uh, sense of scale in this mod's awesome, but it does mean quite a lot of walking. I do feel like we've been walking for a very, very long time. I mean, I assume we're looking for test chambers? Although Wheatley said something about neurotoxin. You gonna st- ah, I thought you were gonna stop like that other door. You're a good door, if not a little bit slow. Alright, more dark corridors and walking. Uh, we appear to have found a conference room. Possibly conference room B. This is where they'd all come to confer about aperture things. God knows how they got in there, though. There's no door. Ah, there's a door here. Okay, never mind. Right, um... You don't have a projector screen. Very inefficient way to learn. What were you conferring about? Do not trust it. Well, we know that way. Does that mean they all crammed in here as the place was filling with neurotoxin? Or was this a pre-neurotoxin kind of discussion about trust? Aperture does have issues with trust, I know that. Nothing... Ah. You want me to go up in that way? Because there's nothing in here but a bunch of shoe boxes. With no shoes. Right, you want me to go up in here somehow, right? Is there... Panel up in there somewhere I can use? No. No panels. Uh, those work, right? That works. Your mesh. You work. And you work, but that is well above my height. Ah, hold on. If I put one of you there, and none of these work, we're going to have to go all the way back around. Aperture was really unfair to its employees. It makes them walk bloody miles. I mean, who designed this place? The corridors are just all over the place, and they go practically nowhere. We would have walked miles just to go around to conference room C. Uh, let's put orange on you. And that looks like a panel over there, so if we do... Yep, that's a panel back there. And now we're gonna go all the way back around. Yeah, a lot of, lot of walking in this one down dark, creepy corridors. At least you would've got your 5,000 steps a day in as an Aperture employee. It wasn't all that bad, but, well, what comes later was bad, and we don't talk about that anymore. Actually, we do nothing but talk about that. Uh, this way? Door of lies. Many doors of lies in this strange, twisted building. You got no handle, not even going to bother with you. Yeah, we're walking through a lot of corridors for a long... Okay, speaking of weird corridors, what the fuck is going on here? 
This is the corridor to weed out the fat employees, clearly. The shelf fits. Not quite that wide, then. Yeah, that, that's just weird. That feels really wrong for some reason. Uh, we got another obstacle. Yeah, you have a handle. Now, we've been over this. It has a handle. I don't know what to believe anymore. Uh, we got another observation type room, this time with broken glass. Does that mean we can actually... there's an exit? Does that mean we can actually go in there? Can we actually go in there? No? You want me to use the one with the X on? You want me to use the one with the X on? Okay. We can go through here, and we can tuck a couple of chairs in. So you never know when you might need to have a rest. In here we have a conveyance beam emission device. We got a button. Got some chairs. God knows how they got in here. What do you do? You flip a panel up there. Oh, oh. God, you're all Guess right. who's back? Sarcasm self-test complete. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. Mm. I'd imagine it's hilarious to homicidal AI such as yourself. Ah, uh, there's my exit. My exit also has a cube positioned by it, so... You're giving me a conveyance beam. We have a panel. What did you do, by the way? I, I wasn't paying attention. You flip that up and you... You reversificate this conveyance unit. Ah, well that means we can just drag that cube over, right? Stick one on you with the X that we used previously. And then that's what you're for. Deliver me that cube. Cube, give me a cube. I've got a job for you. It involves sitting on a button whilst I work out what else I should do. Uh, that gives us an angle. That angle is very much angular in that kind of direction. We could convey across. Nope, that just goes up into a crevice in the ceiling. Ah, uh, no, I know what you want me to do. You want me to do this, right? That's what this is for. Let's take a ride up to the ceiling. And then, remember which portal is which, and we go blue. Fling me! Smack me into the wall. Well, you've opened up something there. These flinging things in Aperture, they're always cruelly designed, just so you clonk yourself on the doorframe. You're going off-piste again. Are you, are you not going to do anything? No. All right, are you a real door? Because I, I don't trust doors now. And you open all the way up to 500... 500 meters below. Something... Oh, test chamber 1 to 200. All right, you've delivered me an elevator. A lovely advert for the United Colors of Benetton. Well, United Colors of Turret, actually. You want me to get on here since you delivered it, right? Where are we going? We're going into the dark, dark abyss. We're actually just in the dark now. And we're back. Okay, we just went past the lights. No one bothered to change the bulb halfway along. Another vast, creepy as fuck space. With a single door. Let's put a portal in here for, for safety. You're a real door. To another door. We've got a tube. What's in that tube? That uh, cubes and boxed up turrets. There's a really sketchy way to deliver your merchandise. Now we've got another one of those Amazon Echoes on the floor. I mean, come on, what else could it be, right? Seriously, what else could that be? Aperture came up a bit first, Bezos stole it. In here we've got another massive, massive space. Ah! We've reached the underground, slightly on fire portion of the off-piece tour. Do like a good off-piece tour. Again, we're walking for miles. I feel like we've we've seen very little test chamber. God knows how far away this actual shutdown is, and if we're ever going to get there. Great sense of scale, though. This place does make Aperture feel absolutely huge. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So really? feel free to slow down and. Do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. By the looks of it, mainly walking. We're getting our exercise in in this mod. Ah, an actual test chamber. And a cube has nearly clogged me on the head. We've got some panels. We've got a laser reflection cube. We've got an emission point. We've got some broken glass. Is that a panel on the ceiling? Panel. That is a panel. That means we can take you through here. Drop down here, and you can sit in there whilst I work out what you do. Right, you turn on laser, you turn on a light bridge. We've got an exit over here, which doesn't work because we need to do more science. That's connected to okay, a laser receptor on the ceiling. Is that what 
this is for? I don't think I've ever managed to pull this off without one of those Sendificator flippy majigs. Is this what this is for? If I... where even am I? If I put you on there, do you... No. I put you on like that. I'll give you oh, credit. wow. I guess you are okay, that does work. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Really? You call that slowly? Look, GLaDOS, knowing this game and how the physics work and how I play, that could have taken literal hours. You should be very, very proud of me because I have managed to open an exit. An exit to an actual elevator. Maybe we're going to actually do some test chambers. All right, do science, please. Oh, change your mind. We're going back down. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Most welcome. Glad to have obliged. Thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. Good. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational Actual support chamber. so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. We found some actual test chambers. Oh good. That's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test. First. First of ten, we found the actual testing track, albeit slightly derelict looking. Alright, so our first chamber involves tubes that give us cubes, placing those cubes upon buttons, and the possibility of getting smacked in the head by those cubes. We've actually found the testing track she was going on about. First chamber involves a button, a button that does an... I was literally just talking about getting smacked in the head by a cube. And here's a cube hovering on, on my face. Um, okay, well you sit there. That takes an elevator up to get to the exit, but uh, we're not on it, so we need to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy cube, 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 cube. I know you're excited to be used, but I need you to settle down. Because I need to destroy you. Alright, give me a new one. Right, onto the button. Not yeah, bad. if I'm not there, the cube goes on the button. Good you are at this. I'm very good you at getting hit in the head, thank you. Though. We have a lot of tests to do. Apparently we've got ten. In fact, quite specifically, we have ten to do. Uh, this one involves a whole bunch of stuff, including not drinking things. I do like we're back to test chambers and all the doors work again. Oh, this is a pretty one. Oh, wow, this is a very pretty looking chamber. If the enrichment center a lot is of cubes getting wasted. With fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Do you think that counts as shelter from space debris? I mean, it appears to have caught part of a Kerbal Space Program rocket. Do you think it would stand up to a meteor? Probably not, let's not think about it. Is that even outside? I always assume that's outside. It's not. It's a blank skybox. But I always assume it's outside. Uh, I've got a load of cubes over here being dropped repetitively into the goo. Not at all annoying hearing that happen over and over. We got a big conveyance beam, we've got a bunch of panels that flipped about as we entered. We've also got an exit here. Are you gonna move? Are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna move? Oh, okay, we can trust that. Here's our exit next to a button. Our button, our button. Our button appears to reversify that conveyance beam. Ah, uh, you need me to do the timing thing, right? Okay, uh, that means we want to put a portal there. There. And catch a cube there. All right, lower than that because that's breaking the delivery mechanism. Like that. Then do I need that cube? Don't actually need the cube, do I? I just need to reversify its direction of motion. All right, you go back that way and go through there. Yep, yeah, that's fine. You just clip through that wall. Nobody will be worried about that or even notice. And you're going to come out of there. There. No, 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 not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I need a bit more slack than that. There we go, there, and you'll press this button for me, right? you press that button for me, and science will ensue. Right, what's that done? What, what did that do? Ah, okay, you brought that up. Awesome, that means we can go across here and see what this one does. This one flips everything around. Ah, you want me to do the same thing, but with the ceiling button. The ceiling button, which is apparently our door button. Still don't entirely trust those, but they don't seem to be moving. Yeah, we gotta do this again, so let's do orange there. Grab me a cube. Yeah, again, lower. Grab me a cube. Reversify said cube's motion. Go on. You can clip through the walls as well. No one will care. 
Uh, sit, slide through those bits of hard metal solid surface. You go through there, you come back out over there, and we go stick orange on you. You. And you'll press that for me and cue the door. I figured out what to do with all the money I saved recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. That sounds cruel as fuck, but to be honest, I once paid money to go visit the Tate Modern and see an exhibition just like that. But with horses too. And humans. It was actually really cool. Uh, this chamber involves pretty much everything. I don't think we really need to worry about what these say anymore. Things tend to not go to plan. Oh look, another Perfect. door that doesn't the work. Malfunctioning. Yeah, I okay, this one. This one's malfunctioning. That That'll be you. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Yeah, well I don't can't do it, can I? Anything. Touch, 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 touch. What Sometimes do you do? Ah. Testing has to occur outside the confines of the lab. Yeah. We've been unconfined from the lab for quite a while now. Still kind of feel like this might turn into a horror mod at some point. Although this is part four, so we're pretty much near the end of whatever there is to be near the end of. But yeah, it's it's pretty creepy in here. Something's gonna pop out, I don't really know what to expect. Ah, well I wasn't expecting to arrive at the 1950s. That's for sure. What have we got? Neurotoxin Production and Employee Daycare Center. I do love how that aperture always has both of those down the same wing of the facility. What is this? Test subject, packed on 2nd of the 3rd, 1976, expires 2nd of the 3rd, 1996. Or 3rd of the 2nd, because this is America, and America likes to do those backwards for some reason. What even is this? Is this shell? Age, adult, size, fat, gender, female, height, tall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's referring to Shell. Or me on the weekends. No, Shell, it's Shell. Let's go to the employee daycare center, shall we? Are you... Uh, the, what the fuck? Did something happen? No, no, nothing <gasps> happened, you bitch. I wasn't watching. So, are you telling me that you had explosives planted specifically in that bit of floor? Just waiting. Just waiting for the day that an orphan would step across them. An orphan that you happen to dislike. Well, the sign says go that way. I mean, the graffiti says go that way, but this is glass. That is the breakable glass, though, right? It's got the lines on it. That's something I learned recently from a very helpful comment. It's got lines on it. You can break it somehow. We need a chair. We've got another one of these holes. No head crabs, because there's no air vent. Another door of lies. There's some panels back there, though. Is there... There is somewhere to land. Uh, where are we going, then? Are you going to open this? Is this a real door? This is not- oh, Wheatley's back. Yay, Wheatley. Hey, Wheatley. What are you talking about this time? Yeah, no, no. I like your torch. Quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. Uh-huh. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration mm -hmm. after a few months in suspension. And being hit on the head with now, cubes. you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Okay, look, mm -hmm. the point is, we're going to break out of Hate here. the guy, right, love soon, the lines. I promise, I promise. Here she comes, keep te just keep testing. Remember, yeah, well, you, you, you got to open the door me. for me. You don't need to do that. We need to find a power station at the end of this course. I don't the really mean... The humans must have accidentally uh, disconnected it course. from my grid. I'm that, sure it was just a clerical uh, error. Mistake. Lol. Did GLaDOS just lol at us? Was that a message? That was weird. Was that from Pedestria? Because now I kind of know what mistake he's referring to. If he hadn't mentioned it, I wouldn't have even noticed. I was too distracted by the little blue git. Where is he gone, anyway? Down there? Is he just waiting down there? Just want him to fall off, really. Anything that hurts sweetly is good for me. Danger! High voltage with a big flippy switch and a uh, clearly cordoned off danger tape area. You gonna electrocute me now? I don't know what to expect in this mod, but uh Yeah, okay, let's let's just try it. Flip the switch. Uh-huh. You did it. I did it. I you did what? You powered on the system. Uh-huh. And I opened a uh, opened a door with a turret. And he's gone. Okay, apparently I opened a door with a was that the door up there? There was a door up there, wasn't there? Is there now a turret waiting for me behind here? Hello? Hello? Oh, it's one of those wide boys. 
Oh, it's one of those busted wide boys. They can't do anything. Okay. Um, pretty useless sentry to stick one of them here, but fine. We've got one of those creepy-ass mannequins in here. Oh, I like your wave. Can I do anything with you? Are you interactable? No, I can just sort of nod you about a bit. Oh. Oh, if we got a bunch of these together, we get them to do the electric slide. Go on, do it again. Do it again for the camera. Come on, do the cool arm thing. Fine. Uh, I'll work out what we're supposed to do. Danger! Busted turret shells. I can't do anything with them. Um, spewing out of this... Uh, hello, big eye. Spewing out of this containment area. Actually, that's pretty empty in there. They appear to have just been crushed under the door for some reason. Was it you? Because I know you guys can move. I've seen it. You guys move all over the place when I'm not looking. That's that's the arm motion I wanted. Yeah, get a bunch of them together, do the electric slide. Be fantastic. Uh, I've got a panel in here. For some reason. This is back by the glass. What am I supposed to do with you? Hey, oh, fuck, I'm activated. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 you're a, oh, you shoot out the back, don't you? Hold on, sit still. Are you still there? I completely forgot. You little busted Next buggers time. have the things on backwards. Ah. Is anyone Ah, there? clever. Clever. Okay, um, let's put blue there. Let's put orange. That's what that is for. If I can get it to work. Thank you. Have it more in the middle. More, more in the middle. Thank you. I do like symmetry. Yeah, these busted guys fire out their ass. So if I get you to target there, and I get out of the way in time, as that, uh... That breaks the glass. That is a nice little transition idea. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah. Lucky I didn't just destroy him when I first saw him, though, because... Then I think I'd be stuck. Uh, can you knock that off now? Hey, you're done. You're done. You don't need to do that anymore. I completely forgot that these guys have got their guns on backwards. I'm going to take him with me. He might be useful. There might be more mannequins. I don't think he's going to fire again, but I'm going to take him with me anyway. I get through here. That looks like an elevator. It kind of looks like an elevator. We get on here. Are you an elevator? Are you, you are an elevator. Turret, we're going on an adventure. A very, very dark, creepy adventure, but an adventure nonetheless. Can't even see you anymore. Uh, I don't know where we're going. We're going a very long way. This place is huge. This mod's doing a really good job of making Aperture feel absolutely massive. As it should. It's in there. Okay, we're still going. We're still going. We're still going. This is a hell of an elevator ride. Is this our stop? This looks like our stop with a door. Where's my turret gone? Ah, there you are. Turret, I need you to come with me for companionship purposes. Next test chamber, this way. Indeed it is. You a real door? You are a real door. Take the turret with us. Is that a... Ah, oh, oh well. I'm done with you anyway. Companionship. It's great while it lasts, like on a Saturday night. Uh, through you. Creepy as fuck in there. What does door number two do? Really? Really? Door number two is a door of lies. What is it with this place and doors that are just lies? Fine, I'll go into the tiny, creepy, dark, confined space. You want to slam? Thank you. Yeah, just to rub it in my face. Uh, that, uh, I hope there's light up here. Electrocuted, shot, oh. drowned, crushed, burned and go. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking of all the ways humans can die. Oh, we're incredibly fragile. I mean, you've listed hardly anything there. Uh, there's car crashes, there's, no, there's suicide, there's all sorts of viruses, there's cardiac arrest, uh, sugar-induced diabetes, grizzly bear maulings. We actually have arrived at a test chamber again, haven't we? Test chamber that's had things, things removed from it, and then some lazy bugger just stuck a couple of planks of wood over the bits that have been removed. There's four of ten, though. Uh, we've got conveyance beams, we've got buttons. Okay, you want me to manoeuvrelate myself, right? I can get in there. And we can head over here. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many ways that humans can die. We are very, very fragile. 
I mean, you, you missed plenty of things like shootings and stabbings and uh, you said stabbings, didn't you? Did you say grizzly bear maulings or did I say that already? Ooh, pack of wolves. Pack of wolves is a good one. You could wrap your motorbike around a lamppost. Uh, you could fall off a very high building or your parachute could fail to open. Um, there's plenty of things. I mean, right now the trendy one is dying to a pandemic global wide virus. But yeah, hopefully that'll be done with soon. What's that panel for then? Huh, okay, I guess we don't need that panel. All right, we've got, hello. We've got a fizzler has turned on behind us. We've got an incredibly well illuminated button. That does, it drops a cube. Ah, you drop a cube into... Ah, okay, I got you. We need you to do orange here. And give me a new cube. New cube, and deliver it to that button whilst I think about more ways we could die. Uh, I did parachutes. Um, ooh, auto-erotic asphyxiation. It's rare, but it does happen. That actually opens up an exit for us, and... I've made myself kind of sad now thinking about all the ways we can die. Oh, oh, peacefully in your sleep in an old age after a very wonderful life. There, yeah, that makes up for all the morbidity in here. Chamber five. All the regular things, including spinny death trap crushers and cake. Well, cake. We've got to go get the... Hello, turret. Are you guarding cake? No, you're, you're guarding some mangled panels. Oh, good for you. This is breakable, right? Ah, fuck it. Alright, well those are moved, but this is breakable, isn't it? Can I get you to shoot this glass? If I stand you up? Because there's an exit, I can shortcut something. Alright, that glass isn't breakable. That, or I just don't understand the rules of breaking glass anymore. You've got a friend around here. Uh, go say hello to your friend. And they're done. I like it when they shut down like that. Oh, now you tell me to dodge around them. Thanks, signage. Ah. There's a load more. There's a load more turrets. And a load more turrets. Okay. Uh, well, you want me to do this, don't you? You want me to block them like that. But, but, for fun, we can do this. Like dominoes. Like dominoes. Managed to get a few extra shots in. And you, you can take care of this lot. Oh, that was a cute little stop shooting. You know what? I'm going to leave you be. You are kind of cute sometimes. Uh, well, there's the deadly spinny things. There's the deadly spinny things with turrets. Perched precariously directly above. Well, this just seems cruel, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. I am sure if I had the time to record nice. these tests, oh. you would have never completed them. Ooh, so it's again, one of those stealth spinny blade traps. On completing the broken, easy tests. Broken? You mean it, it wasn't supposed to disappear? I thought Aperture had stealth technology. Uh, we can't go that way. Is this... Oh, this is where we were before when we were looking at the other guy, right? So we've actually gotten across there. Yeah. That's kind of cruel, just perching three turrets above there. I mean, what else did they expect to ever happen to them? Probably, in all honesty, not drop into a disappearing spinny blade trap, but uh, hey, exciting. Uh, let's head over this way, since apparently we've killed all three of them into... Oh, oh, well, I guess that's actually the end of Aperture Shutdown altogether then. Yes, sadly, part four is as many parts as we have been blessed with by Pedestria who sadly appears to have uh, left this series back in 2015. Six years ago, I doubt we're going to get any more of it. So a big thank you to Pedestria for making this, and a big thank you to everyone who recommended this one. Thank you very, very much for watching. Until the next one, catch you later.